Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm so excited to see all of you guys again and those of you guys that have chosen to just do virtual learning. I can't wait to talk to you and answer questions and dive into American history. It's going to be so much fun this year. I can't wait. Um, so as you guys know, we're kind of doing a hybrid thing and those of you guys that are online all the time, this is how you will get your classes from me when you are working at home. Okay, it'll be me doing a video with some instructions talking you through how to do the stuff for the day. Um, and that'll be about it. It'll be probably 10, 15 minutes at the most, and then you guys can get to work and get your stuff done for the day. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me through email. Uh, I have a Google Voice number, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. And you can also contact me through Google Hangouts, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Okay. So first off, where do you guys need to go to do class? Well, very similar to last year, you guys are going to go to Google Classroom. Everything this year, including the virtual and in-class stuff, I'm going to be running through Google Classroom, and hopefully it'll be simple and easy for you guys. Okay, so you'll go ahead and log into Google Classroom. Uh, right now I'm showing the virtual classroom, but you guys this will look pretty darn similar. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and look at the stream. I have some announcements. Uh, each group for my first period of the day has received their announcements. If you're not in my first period or my rich, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll see you guys in class. All right, but after you go to the stream, for the most part, you're going to go to classwork. Okay, after you click on classwork, you'll see I'm breaking things up by week, and I have the dates in there for you. Um, you'll click on the day it is. So obviously, you guys should be working on this on Monday since it's the first day. Okay, um, and everything will be in here. Now, go ahead and click to open the assignment. Just click view material. All right. Right at the top, I have your learning target. Um, we are doing interactive notebooks just like we did last year. I have a whole slide set up for you on that. I'll we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? Uh, and an agenda. So if you're kind of like, what are all the things we're doing today? They're all in here. I know it looks like a lot, but most of these things take a minute or, or less for the most part, okay? All right. First thing you need to do, especially if you are virtual at home, okay? You need to click on this daily attendance form. It should open up. Okay, you'll put your first, last name, your grade level, which teacher. Okay, you know, go through, select who it's for. Okay, and then which period. All right, um, I'll help you figure out periods if you need help with that. Um, I'll just create a list here, and I'll upload that to each of the Google Classrooms for you. That way you guys can see. All right, and make sure you do fill that out. That helps out the school. Okay. We get a lot of funding through attendance, so please, please, please make sure you do that. If you're not doing that, you will not receive credit for being in class, so you have to do this, all right? Every day should be very quick. Once you've done that and you submit it, you can close out. Then you guys can go ahead and open up the slides for the day, and each day has its own set of slides. So as you can see, these are Monday or Tuesday, depending on which group you're in, the welcome back slides, okay? Um, I've also gone ahead and put the agenda in all the slides. Okay, but at this point, if you're learning virtually, okay, go ahead and get out your notebook. Um, if you're coming into class, we'll do this in class because we are going to set up your notebook. It'll be very straightforward. Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so just like last year, you have your interactive notebook set up. Okay, the left side of your page will have the vocabulary if there's any for that day, the learning target, and you're in. All right, so let's go ahead and look at today's in. Um, it is, what is something fun you did this summer? So this summer I did quite a few fun things with my wife. Um, first, we went to Yellowstone National Park, and that's Old Faithful. Uh, you guys can Google that if you don't know what it is. It's super cool. It's a geyser that shoots water into the air about every hour to two hours. It's very fun. And we also went to Disney World, and if you look in the background, we were kidnapped by some stormtroopers. So that was pretty fun. Okay, but I want to hear what did you guys do for this summer that was fun, all right? Okay, after you've done your end in your notebook, okay, we're going to go ahead and move on. Now, instead of reading all these slides to you because it'd be very boring, I want you guys to go through them yourself. Mark down any questions that you have or anything that you need clarified and let me know right away. Okay, especially you virtual learners, we want to make sure we're on the same page right away. Okay, on um, the hybrid model, it's going to, if you're in virtual, you can breeze through this, okay, because you'll be doing everything at home through Google Classroom. All right? Um, also, okay, in social studies, we're going to be talking about the redirects for you guys, okay, so read through the school expectations, uh, first, second, third, redirect, 
Okay, the fourth redirect when you get sent to the office. This should be very familiar to you guys from last year. Um, those of you at home don't necessarily have to worry about this now, but it, once we return to normal, um, hopefully we'll get to do that. Normal everyone in class, okay, we will be following this in my classroom. All right, um, non-negotiables, okay, if you do these, you get sent to the office right away. This is not acceptable at school, you guys know that. Okay, um, expectations for my class, if you're in the classroom, Okay, go ahead, read through these. These are excellent. Okay, they're very straightforward, very simple. That's what I used for the second half of the year last year. If you have me, you should be familiar with this. Um, virtual classroom, we do have expectations for this, okay? Let's go over these real quick. The first expectation, okay? If you're not able to do something at school, don't do it on the computer. Pretty straightforward. Everything you put on Google Classroom must be school appropriate. If not, you're gonna have an issue with me and with administration we will definitely be getting in contact with your parents so please just don't put anything inappropriate on here and we'll be good to go all right um expectation number two assignments are completed on time and students are prepared for in-classroom discussions and activities uh, once again virtual guys it is important that you guys do your stuff on time um, i will try to set up some times where we can maybe do a discussion uh, over like google meet or through zoom and that way you guys get some interaction so please do things on time and keep up with class. If you're not keeping up, you will get behind and it will impact your grade this year, okay? You do not have the, oh, I get to keep the same grade as last quarter. That is not happening this year. You will get a grade and if you're not doing stuff, you will fail class, okay? Um, lastly, our expectation is you guys understand that the virtual part of the classroom is just as important as in-person classes, okay? This year will not work if you guys are not doing the work that is assigned on Google Classroom for at home. Please, please make sure you're doing it, all right? I know that seems like a lot, but I really need you guys to do that. It'll really help me out and it'll really help you guys out, okay? All right, a little bit about me. Here's how you guys can get a hold of me. If you need to contact me, you can send me an email to sspalding at weld8.org, okay? I have a Google phone number set up, so if you need to give me a phone call, um, go ahead and call me on that number. Shoot me a text or an email first. Let me know you're calling so I know who it is. And then lastly, we can use Google Hangouts message or text. So real quickly, why don't I show you guys how Google Hangouts works? Okay, you guys can just click that link. All right. And then you can just click start a new conversation. And you'll have to type my name in and invite me and we'll work it out. But this is awesome because we can not only do phone calls, we can text each other and we can do video calls. So if you need me to show you something, explain it, show you how to do it. Video calls, perfect for that. That's a very easy way to solve any questions you have. So please try to use Google Hangouts if possible. Um, the other methods, emailing me or calling me are also great. Um, I'd rather answer questions than not. So please, please don't be afraid to contact me. Um, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. All right. Okay, moving on. Just some fun facts about me. And don't worry, I have something where you guys can tell me a few fun facts about you. Okay. I just thought you should know a little bit about me. Um, my family. So I am married to my wonderful, beautiful wife, the most amazing world, woman in the world, uh, Megan. And we've been married for four years now, four best years of my life. Okay, she's awesome. Um, at some point, you guys will probably get to see her or maybe possibly even meet her. She's great. Okay. Um, also, we got this guy right here, as you can see, my cat named Roman. He's fantastic. He's fat and lazy. So he's having a lot of fun, as you can see behind me. All right, a little bit else. Uh, some hobbies, some things I like to do for fun. I love to play games, um, variety of games, board games, card games, you know, chess, stuff like that, um, even video games. So if you want to talk about that sometime, let me know. I'm more than happy to talk about games. Just love all sorts of types of games. Um, continuing, I also love to read. Um, lots of you guys I know aren't big fans of reading, but I've got super great stuff. If you ever want to borrow it, just let me know. Lots of graphic novels and things. Um, I also love to watch movies. I'm a big Western fan. Love Westerns. Um, so if you like Westerns, let me know. We can talk about Western movies. They're great. And um, I do love watching TV shows. And my favorite TV show of all time is Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm willing to bet quite a few of you watched it this summer since it came out on Netflix. So if you ever want to talk about that show, let me know. It's super fun. Continuing on, I also love to do fishing and hunting. Okay. Um, guys, ever want to talk about that? I'm more than happy to. 
but I love doing stuff outside as long as it doesn't require too much walking. So, do love to fish and hunt. Lastly, um, I've had the chance to, be, to go and visit some very cool places. Um, I spent about a month and a half in Mongolia one time. I can tell you guys about that at a time. You'll see some stuff I got there. It's super fun. It's a really cool place. Um, and I've also been to Italy, the place where the Roman Empire was. Um, so feel free to ask about that if you find that interesting. But some cool places I've been. Uh, and then some random facts about me. My favorite color is green. You'll see lots of green things I have. Uh, my favorite music genres. I love jazz, classical music, and classic rock. My favorite history which we will get to cover this year, so fun, so fascinating, uh, is the Civil War. Can't wait to talk about that with you guys and learn as much as we can about it. Please feel free, once again, if you have any questions about any of that or anything about class, reach out to me, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, I just, I can't wait. Can't wait to hear from you guys, talk to you, and interact with you. It's been too long. Okay, uh, then go ahead, please complete your out for the day. Uh, this is the last thing for Monday. It's just a little survey. Uh, go ahead and click on the link. Let it pop up here. Put your name, what class period you're in. Okay, your birthday. Uh, go ahead and put your birthday in there. May result, and you get a piece of candy or something, okay? Um, let me know what um, language your parents would prefer to speak in if I had to talk to them. Okay, English or Spanish, that just helps me out up front. Because if your parents don't speak English, I don't want to call them and confuse them, okay? So just let me know. And then tell me three awesome things about yourself. What is one thing you would like your teacher and classmates to know about you? What are you most excited about this school year? What are you guys excited for? I know it's going to be a crazy, strange year, but there's got to be something you're excited about. Uh, what are you most nervous or anxious about for this school year? I know there's a few things I'm nervous about since it's a very different school year. And then what are some activities you guys are going to be involved in? Things like sports or clubs or if you're in band or choir. Let me know those, Kay, because sometimes, you know, you go for like a soccer game or a football game or a basketball game or a volleyball game and you're out super late and, you know, you just didn't quite have enough time to get that homework done for the next day. Just let me know those things and I'm more than willing to work with you. Okay, so that is all for today. I am so excited for the school year. Um, I can't wait to see you guys starting Monday. Um, and those of you guys that are virtual, um, please feel free to reach out with any questions you have. Let's rock this year. All right, Fort Lupton Middle School, let's do this.